Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Sitting here lock seven, waiting for the BBC Tokyo to come out. It's got 47 wind turbine blades on it and it's uh, on its way to Lake Erie. Thanks for joining. Here comes the BBC Tokyo. She's hauling over 50 massive wind turbine blades through lock seven of the Welland Canal. These blades are heading for Erie, Pennsylvania. And if you think they look big now, wait until they're mounted on towers taller than the Statue of Liberty. The BBC Tokyo is brand new launched in 2025. Fun fact, unlike most freighters you won't see a big smokestack on this ship. Her exhaust exits discreetly on the port side, which almost makes her look like she's trying to sneak through the canal unnoticed. But the cargo is impossible to ignore. These wind turbine blades are made by Vestas, one of the world's leading turbine manufacturers. Each blade can reach nearly 90 meters in length, that's longer than a football field and longer than some of the freighters I've filmed here. To keep neighbors happy they even have serrated trailing edges like a giant bread knife to cut down on the whooshing noise when they spin. Wind power is pretty incredible stuff. A single modern turbine can power over 1,500 homes a year, and unlike fossil fuels the wind never runs out. Plus, turbines don't need water to operate meaning they can save billions of gallons annually compared to some traditional power plants. And here's a bonus. Over 90% of a turbine can be recycled at the end of its life. That's greener than my lawn after a Niagara summer thunderstorm. The BBC Tokyo is one of several BBC chartering ships delivering blades this season. Her sisters, the BBC Houston and BBC Dubai, have also been spotted upbound in the Welland Canal. Lock 7 itself is the grand finale of the Welland Canal climb, raising or lowering ships nearly 46 feet as they conquer the Niagara Escarpment. Only here can you stand within arm's reach of a brand new ship, hauling the future of clean energy, while your GoPro prays it doesn't get splashed again. With ships like the BBC Tokyo, the Welland Canal isn't just moving steel, salt and cruise passengers, it's moving the future of energy. Stick around because this Lock 7 series still has plenty more ships, splashes and surprises on the way.